Hi, welcome to the Movie Recapper, today we will watch a mystery, thriller, sci-fi movie from 2009, titled Triangle. This is a spoiler content video. The movie is about yacht passengers, that encounter mysterious weather conditions that force them to jump onto another ship, only to have the odd havoc increase. Enjoy the video and let's begin. The film opens with Jess at home with her autistic son, Tommy. We watch as Jess goes about cleaning up after her son. Suddenly, there is a buzz at the front door. Jess goes to see who it was, but finds no one there. Asking a neighbor who was working in his yard, he claims he didn't see anyone. Sometime afterward, she accepts the invitation of a friend named Greg to go sailing on his boat. A couple, Downey and Sally, and their friend Heather, accompany him. Moments later, Victor, a friend of Greg is added to them. Jess is coming behind him. Greg had also invited Jess to bring her son Tommy with her, but when he asks Jess where he is, Jess hesitates for a moment, before saying he's at school. The crew seems to be sailing along okay, when the wind suddenly dies down. Also of question is a strange electrical storm that is steadily approaching. Greg tries to radio the Coast Guard but finds their communications wavering. Another communication comes across, but Greg's request for coordinates of this unknown communication soon gives way to more static. The storm soon reaches the boat, which capsizes, but not before Heather is swept out of the boat into the stormy waters. When the weather clears, the survivors climb onto the upturned boat, and they seem to have lost Heather, unsure what to do next. Suddenly, a large cruise ship floats into view and the survivors quickly board it, only to find no one on deck or in the halls. As they crisscross through the corridors of the ship, Jess begins to have an eerie sense of deja vu. As they keep moving around the ship, a sudden noise catches their attention. What they find is a set of car keys, that are exactly like the set that Jess carries. No one is sure what this can mean, and the search continues. Unable to find anyone on board, everyone meets in the dining area. Jess sees someone running away and informs the group. Victor runs after this unknown person. Greg and Jess go around further looking for someone from the ship. They ask Downey and Sally to wait in the dining area. Greg and Jess find a room with Go To Theater written on a mirror in blood. Jess freaks out about the blood and wants off the liner, but Greg intends to head to the theater, and they separate. Jess goes to the dining area and no one is there, Victor comes all bloodied. Victor attacks Jess, but in the process, Jess locates a wound to the back of Victor's head and aggravates it, and kills him. Jess hears a gunshot, she follows it to the theater. Greg is lying dead. Downey and Sally are blaming Jess for this. And they say that Greg told them that Jess shot him. From above, a masked person shoots both Downey and Sally and kills them. Jess escapes and is chased by the masked person. Jess overpowers the masked person who mumbles something before falling off the liner. With everyone around her seemingly dead, and no idea who the masked person was, Jess goes to a cabin on the ship, only to hear yelling from off the boat a few moments later. Looking over the edge, she is shocked to see the overturned boat, and everyone, even herself. Calling to be rescued. Jess runs around in disbelief following group. In the process, Jess drops her keys. New Jess picks up the key saying it was hers. The new Jess, informs group about the someone running away. Victor runs after Jess. Victor catches up to Jess, Jess tries to explain what has just happened. Obviously, Victor doesn't understand and thinks she is crazy. By mistake, Jess pushes Victor back onto a sharp protrusion impaling him on the head. Jess freaks out and runs. She finds room with shotguns and notes on the floor saying, if they board, kill everyone. The letters are all written by previous versions of Jess. Jess's locket gets pulled off her neck only to fall onto a bunch of replicas, lockets that belong to the earlier versions of Jess. She picks up a gunshot and heads to save the others. First, Jess intercepts another Jess and Victor's meeting. This helps stop new Jess from aggravating Victor's wound and killing him. Jess doesn't kill new Jess, new Jess runs away. Jess runs to the theater and saves Downey and Sally. Greg is dead, again. 
The Jess shoots the masked shooter on top and causes a flesh wound on the head. Downey, Sally, and Jess make a run for it, but Jess momentarily separates from the two of them. Moments later, a version of Jessie who appeared to have boarded a ship before her, with a wound on the top of her head, tricks Downey and Sally to follow her into the room. She kills Downey with a knife and fatally wounds Sally, and she makes a run for it. Original Jess spots Sally, and runs behind her to help. Sally finds a control room and tries to send out a distress signal. This signal is the same as what Greg is shown to receive at the start of the movie. Sally runs to the upper levels to a location that has a whole bunch of dead Sallys. Just like the many lockets and notes, many Sallys have already died. After this, Jess sees that new Jess is killing a Jess who had masked before. Sally dies from bleeding, Jess and new Jess are alive, watching a new group of themselves come to the liner. Jess realizes that this is going to keep happening until everyone, including herself is killed and no one enters the liner. Jess now goes ahead and cleans up all the bodies. Jess removes Downey's body and writes go to theater with his blood on the mirror. Jess sees another Jess wounding Victor to the head. Original Jess goes to the dining hall and tells Downey and Sally to go to the theater. Jess gets a gun, puts on a mask, and follows Greg into the theater. Greg recognizes that the shooter is Jess. Then she shoots him. Jess shoots and kills Downey and Sally. Newer Jess escapes, and the original Jess chases. She follows and shoots her, until the point that newer Jess gets the upper hand. Original Jess mumbles kill everyone and falls off the liner. Jess awakes on a beach soon after, and makes it back home. Only to find herself there that morning, where the film started. However, this time, we hear the audio that was missing. And find out that past Jess is blatantly angry with Tommy, cursing at him and yelling at him. Tommy sees original Jess outside the window and causes the paint to spill. Another Jess yells at Tommy and starts cleaning up the color and soils her dress. Jess rings the doorbell and hides. Another Jess hears the doorbell, but no one is there. Jess sneaks up behind another Jess and bludgeons her with a hammer. Unfortunately, Tommy witnesses this, and Jess assures her son he just had a bad dream. Jess then takes the locket from her former self's neck and puts the dead body in a black duffel bag, before putting it in her car's trunk. Jess then proceeds to drive her son to school, promising that things are going to be different from now on. As they drive along the ocean, a seagull suddenly slams into the windshield, leaving bloody streaks. Jess pulls over to retrieve the dead bird and throw it into the ocean. However, when she goes to throw it over the edge of the embankment, she sees something that causes her to pause, there are multiple dead seagulls pulled in the area where she was planning to dispose of the one she just hit. Jess gets back in the car and starts driving. Distracted by Tommy, she hits a truck, and the car tumbles. This kills Tommy. The body of the dead other Jess is lying out. However, Jess is uninjured and standing around watching the accident. A taxi guy offers a ride, and she heads to the harbor. When she enters the harbor, she meets a Victor, a Greg, a Downey, a Sally, and a Heather. They are just preparing for the sale. The loop has started all over. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can watch more videos like this.